Berserk, 2016 version. Okay, I'm gonna give you my interpretation of it, okay? So the plot takes place after the eclipse where Griffith becomes one of the god hand um, and continues his path of ridding the world. Basically, he just wants to take over. I don't know if he necessarily wants to rid the world of evil necessarily, but he wants to take over. He wants to just like rule everything. Griffith is like haunted by evil spirits that are following him due to being branded. Um, throughout the two seasons, Casca is still suffering from memory loss. She's super regressed, like like a child. Like a, she's regressed to like a mentality of like a very small child. But she could barely even talk, you know. I mean, considering all the shit they went through, fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't even know how you make it through that shit. Guts eventually finds her. They set out on a journey along with this little elf named Puck, who I actually really like the little elf. Hold on, you can almost kind of see it in this picture. You can see it. There's Puck. That's Puck right there. I just moved the screen down so you can see it a little bit. He looks like a bitch. He's cool. I actually really liked him. Basically, yeah, they set off on this path. Guts eventually finds himself in this like fucking forest area um, that this older mage chills at. This was basically the moment in the journey where Guts is given that berserk armor um, and he's learning how to control the power of that armor. Uh, so the season two ends with that kind of like up in the air as to what is really going to happen with the armor. Um, he eventually finds uh, at the end of season two, he eventually finds Griffith um, and it sets up the ending as if he's about to have a big battle with, against Griffith. It kind of sets it up that way. It's, it's really interesting. It kind of ends up in the air. Yeah, that's basically the plot. So it takes place after the eclipse. He spends a lot of the, his journey just trying to survive past all the evil spirits that are constantly attracted to him because he's fucking branded after the eclipse and maybe up in the air, him fighting with guts. Um, so I'm interested to see what happens next. I'm so interested and I'm gonna read the fucking manga because um, I gotta know what happens next because it ends there and it never really picks up again. I don't even know if there's any talk uh, basically of this anime getting picked up again or doing another third season. As far as the design, um, a lot of people seem to criticize the use of like CGI in this anime, which I, I could definitely understand that. But I really gotta be honest with you, I really like the way that this anime looked. The way that he would like chop motherfuckers in half and shit was so sick. Like it was definitely different than like the 97 version or even the three movies that came out in like 2012-ish. Like it was very, very graphic and I loved it. I liked the way it looked, I liked the way it felt, okay? Like every time Guts swung his fucking sword, I could feel that shit. <laughs> Music, absolutely amazing. You guys, the fucking season one intro. The season one intro to this 2016 version, Inferno, is so fucking good. It might even be the best fucking anime intro music I've ever fucking heard. I, it definitely surpasses Basilisk, uh, 2005 edition. It, I, it might even pass 95 uh, Neon Genesis. It is so fucking good. It is so fucking good. If you haven't listened to it, you should listen to it right now. Season two had a good intro as well. Um, even like the song at the end, I was cool with too. But that intro, the season one, Inferno. The characters in this anime, absolutely fucking loved. Lots of sick characters in this anime. Obviously Guts is sick, right? Like I said, every fucking scene where he's literally just chopping enemies in half, it's so fucking powerful. You can feel the fucking swing of his sword. I love this little fairy puck. I thought he was cool as fuck. I love the little apprentice witch that they meet in the forest with the old witch. Uh, what is her name? Shirka. Um, other dope characters include the Skull Knight, who uh, had ties with the old witch in the forest that later dies. I know, spoilers. Oh my God. Um, Zod was super fucking tight, which I'm like convinced. I'm fucking convinced that Akuma from Street Fighter is based off of Zod. All the fights with Zod were super amazing between him and Guts. Um, I really like the fight scene with Grunbeld. Super fucking cool. Absolutely. Lots of cool characters, right? Lots of good music. I did love the, the design. Yes, maybe they didn't perfectly execute some of the CGI, but overall, 
They did some really dope ass scenes where Guts is chopping people in half and it looks tight as fuck. Take away from all of this, what I always feel is like so emphasized in all the Berserk animes I've watched is how they're constantly emphasizing emphasizing how evil humanity can be. It also poses a longstanding debate, of course, did Griffith do anything wrong, right? His goal, I think, I guess nobody really knows what his goal is. His goal is just he wants to rule everything, right? But some people suggest that his goal is ultimately to chase like the world, rid the world of like all the evil that's in it. But yet he's using evil itself to do that. In a way, I feel like the Griffith whole moral debate definitely mirrors the Thanos storyline, right? You know, Thanos kills half of the fucking universe because he feels at the end, there's more people that are going to survive and live on. It's going to be for the greater good, so to speak. That seems or appears to be what Griffith wants to do, right? Um, <laughs> overall, if I had to give this anime a score, so this is the 2016 version we're doing the review of. Um, if I have to give an overall sco uh, score, um, fuck dude this is really hard because i really like this anime a lot i know a lot of people like hated it and like talked shit about it but i thought it was fucking dope as fuck honestly i'll give it an 8 out of 10 seriously my only complaint about it is like some of like the graphics really i really think it was really good i had a great time watching it i thought it was super entertaining i loved all the fucking seeds of guts was chopping people in half i thought it was super dope so um thank you guys so much for hanging out